Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So, the release date of patch 7.2 actually seems to be quite close indeed, as evidenced by a few different things that pretty much happened yesterday evening. Additionally, we've also seen the first of the broad sweep of legendary item balance changes on the PTR that I'm sure quite a few of us are keen to see. It contains some very good news for those of you who have perhaps had bad luck with your legendary drops. Now, there has been a lot of 7.2 news stuff. I've got like plenty of original content in the works, including the add-on project, which has actually made great progress over the last week. And if today's video looks a bit strange, it's because I'm recording it in our new audio booth that we actually constructed for it. But I figure that these release dates are something that are important for people's planning. I'd hate to think that somebody is spending all of their time grinding out artifact power like a madman when the patch that's going to bring a whole bunch of AK is uh, pretty much just on the horizon. Okay, so let's get right in into it with the patch 7.2 release date news, Blizzard did something very interesting indeed. A new NPC has appeared inside everyone's order hall. You can go and check now. It's a bloodied soldier who's just escaped the broken shore. They have a quest which asks you to do an order hall champion mission to investigate the broken shore. Of course, that's the place where we got our arses handed to us in the pre-expansion event. This wasn't, uh, well, it was data mined, but I don't think anyone really knew what it was for, and it seemingly has just popped out of nowhere. It's a pretty clear tease that the next patch is on its way soon enough. Uh, there is more evidence, but before that, I want to point out that I really like what Blizzard have actually done here. Announcing something via a forum post is... That's fine and all, but having in-game events build up to a patch's release is far, far cooler. And while this seems like just a small touch, I think it could be quite a cool thing to work into their content release schedule for the future. It'd certainly help the game feel a little bit more alive from time to time, though of course having that much foresight and planning with their content release schedule would be a degree of a challenge for them to be sure. Though in fairness that is something that they seem to be pretty damn on top of currently. Okay, so the second bit of evidence is that they just announced some dates regarding the end of Legion PvP Season 2. Now, my initial reaction is that this just wasn't really that important at all. PvP Season 1 ended on the 13th of December and Season 2 started pretty much immediately afterwards. Uh, Blizzard had been basically planning on doing shorter PvP seasons in this uh, expansion, so it made sense to decouple them from the patch release. They basically seem to have wanted two PvP seasons per raid here to keep things fresh. 7.1.5, of course, came out a month later in January. Um, now, what I didn't consider is that PvP Season 3 involves new armor models. Season 1 and 2 had shared appearances. Uh, well, Season 3 has uh, gear, which is a variant of the new Tier 20 set that's going to be available from the Tomb of Sagara's Raid once Patch 7.2 uh, drops and then some time passes and the Tomb actually comes out. These bits of gear, as pointed out by Wowhead's uh, Perculia, are not in the current build of the game, which means that a new patch will basically be required for PvP Season 3 to actually commence. Now, if the transition between 1 and 2 is indicative, then the transition from 3 to 4 will not require a content patch, it's just the 2 to 3 transition that would, because from 3 to 4 there will be no new gear models, PvP Season 4 gear will look the same as Season 3 gear. Now, with all of that in mind, here's what Blizzard have said about the PvP season dates. They have said that Season 2 will not end today, on the 14th. They also said that it will not end on the following Tuesday, which is the 21st. This means that the first possible date for the current PvP season to end is the 28th of March. Bear in mind, uh, that date is not official, and Blizzard have said that they internally don't have the exact date, so of course things can change. The last PvP season change, though, was instantaneous, but it did not involve a new patch. If we look back into the past, any time that there has been a PvP season change that has involved a new patch, there was a seven-day gap between the end of, uh, of the current season and the beginning of the next one. So, I think this means that patch 7.2 is going to be either the 28th of March, the 4th of April, or if uh, there is for some reason a, a delay, then on the 11th of April, which overall is quite soon. And I do think this is an excellent release window for the patch, as the world content of the game is 
very stale at this stage. However, I have seen a lot of worry from the raiding community that they just got their teeth into Nighthold, right? They've just got a bit of progression in there, and now there's a new patch coming out. Uh, it all just feels too soon and too quick. I would absolutely agree if this was any other expansion, but this is Legion, and in Legion, uh, things just seem to be done a bit differently as far as scheduling goes. Raid release dates are not the same as patch release dates. Uh, just like how Trial of Valor came out two weeks after patch 7.1 released, um, and even how Emerald Nightmare came out multiple weeks after Legion released. Of course, Trial of Valor was a small raid on top of another kind of small raid, so two weeks was fine. Uh, there really is no rule about how many weeks there has to be for a raid to unlock, so I would assume that Blizzard will release the Tomb of Sagaris quite some time after patch 7.2 drops. The time gap between the Emerald Nightmare and the Nighthold was basically four months. Though, of course, Trial of Valor was sort of slipped in there between them. Now, a four-month gap between the Nighthold and the Tomb of Sagaris would leave it opening up in mid-May, which is about six weeks after the patch would likely drop. I think this is quite a bit more reasonable, though I absolutely do understand people's uh, concerns about being flooded with content there, especially if you're in the sort of raid team where you don't feel like you're able to take a break, and maybe it would have been the case that you were raiding hard for three months or whatever, and then you take a three month break. Uh, maybe that's something that won't really work out as well with the current content release schedule. Now, what's interesting to me is there will be a period of people getting loads more gear from the 7.2 world and dungeon content, but they'll still be entering the Nighthold raid. I actually think that's kind of good, uh, actually. I think we might see a bit of an uptick in participation for the raid because people get some gear, it gets more people shoved through Nighthold towards the end, which might be a nice way of getting some people back into the swing of things in preparation for the Tomb of Sagaris whenever it might actually release. So I guess what's your take on this uh, release date stuff? Um, as I said, I think, okay, maybe the raid might end up being a little bit too soon, but I think that the release date is something that Blizzard can play around with and evaluate, they're not really locked into anything, so if they get feedback and data to support it being too early, they can just open it up a bit later, but what I do think is pretty cut and dry is that Legion needs more world content, and this patch pretty much can't come soon enough as far as the world content goes, and perhaps also as far as the Mythic Plus dungeon system changes go. I'd really love to see them in the game as soon as possible. Alright, so with all of that covered, uh, it's legendary time. I won't bore you by just reading out patch notes, um, but the link will be below. These are the first wave of rebalancing changes. Blizzard might do more. Uh, this is all since the post that they, um, well, that I covered yesterday that they made. So this current wave doesn't cover everything, but they are in keeping with what Blizzard said. As an example, the roots of Shaladrasil now give you a bunch of crit. They've basically just got a third secondary stat bolted on. You'll see that for loads of the utility things. Um, Amethul's Wisdom for the Holy Paladins has been kind of redesigned. Uh, yeah, we just see changes basically in line with what they say. Some new stats, some new procs and effects, some toning down of already powerful ones. Overall, just just a balanced pass. I think this is a pretty damn fantastic step. Ideally, 99% of the stress surrounding legendary items should disappear as soon as you get your second one, with the others being playstyle choices, not like ginormous, purely RNG dependent increases in your throughput. So I hope this helps out the overall situation and really initial legendary acquisition is quick enough that having them drop shouldn't be a massive issue overall. So there you go. I think overall pretty fantastic news uh, for the game. Yeah, some concerns about the raid stuff, but I think the world content is very important and it's great to see these legendary changes. So yeah, that's basically it for the video, I'd say. Three, four weeks, we'll see a new patch, and uh, yeah, that should be pretty good for the health of the game. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.